you're watching JD's Variety Channel. Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Don't mind the uh, scruffy hair, I uh, need to get that buzz. But anyway, a little bit different of a video here today. I wanna show you some stuff uh, that my brother and my mom found. Um, to, to make a long story short, um, my brother purchased a house back in my hometown for backed taxes and just absolutely horrendous shape. Yeah, he bought it for like a grand. Um, that's how cheap it was. And there was a lot of issues with it. Um, even after he had legally obtained the property, um, the cops had to be called um, because the people who used to own it had, you know, tried to hassle him and like, you know, get out of my house and all that stuff. So anyway, uh, it was a pretty big ordeal. Um, but this house, I'm not sure the exact on the exact age of it. I got to try to figure it out. But I believe it's early 1900s. But anyway, this place, from what my brother told me, was just absolutely chocked full of garbage. And not just garbage, but there was some old stuff too. But there was so much stuff in there. And he was in on a limited time frame because he was going to live in it. So he like completely gutted this place, just had truckloads of garbage hauled out of it. But yeah, that being said too, I know some antiques and old stuff and all that jazz had gotten thrown away too. But anyway, my mom went back up to visit him and she picked up a few things when the house was still in really rough shape, just grabbing stuff from walking around and I have it here now. So I wanna show you some of it. Also, there was a bin of coins that he had collected and just pulling out of the carpets um, and just, you know, on the original wood floors and just all in, in cabinets all over the place and some of the I mean old I mean not necessarily old a lot of the crummy coins and I'm sure just got rolled up in the carpets and thrown away obviously a, a large portion of them are just modern crap coins um, but there was a lot of stuff there so first I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera turned around and show a couple shots of the house and then show you some of the stuff that was pulled out of there so there's one shot of the house to show it when he was ripping a lot of the garbage out of it and I naturally have my finger there to block um, that license plate number. So I wanted to show that one and I'm going to flip through and show you one more. And that's just one random shot from the inside. I don't have a lot of pictures. This is actually my mom's phone that I'm flipping through um, to see the pictures that she took of the place. Um, but there you go. That's my brother there from behind. But uh, this place was just you know, an absolute train wreck. So uh, anyway, let's get into this, a few of the things um, that my mom grabbed uh, while she was there, uh, just randomly. Um, anyway, I wanted to show this. Um, this is solid cast iron, and I'm not sure how old it is. Um, I haven't tried to look up the value or anything of it yet, but it weighs a absolute ton <laughs> like it's even just hard to pick up with one hand that's how heavy it is I'm gonna try to do some research on it but if anybody would know the approximate age of this I would love to know and this piece was made in Taiwan that's pretty neat I'm actually with that barrel there it looks like a plug would have went there I guess this I mean I guess this is an old coin bank that's what it looks like. So, you know, that looks like where the plug would have gone, so it's pretty interesting. Um, and I'll, I'll weigh that there in a second. I got my scale here. I'll, I'll show you how much that weighs. But she just grabbed a few things. I mean, like I said, this was chocked full of modern garbage, too. She grabbed some, like, seashells that were in there. Um, found this bracelet. Unfortunately, that's not real gold. It's just gold-plated. Um, just some random junk, some beads, some bits and bobs. It's like a uh, topper to some kind of piece of furniture. There was marbles everywhere. She grabbed a couple of them. Like that little rubber shoe, probably off of some kid's toy. Uh, you know, like a glass bead. You know, just some modern pennies. Uh, this was one of the really cool things. It's a, it's a casino token from Wisconsin. The Ho-Chunk Casino. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, also grabbed this old bottle cap. Not quite sure the age on this. But I thought that was that was pretty interesting. 
as well. And one of the interesting things, um, my brother had found this and gave it to her to show to me. Um, he found this on one of the original hardwood floors. And apart from the scratch, like it is in such good condition. It's like it was just in, you know, just sitting in that house for almost a hundred years. It's a 1918 wheat penny and it's got really sharp detail on it. So that's just a few things, a few of the things she brought home with her. Um, but I mean, there's a lot more. Unfortunately, she deleted one of the pictures um, on her phone I wanted to show. He still has a huge bin of coins that he saved for me to go through. And I, I blew up the picture on the phone and zoomed in and you could see right on top, there was like a nickel from the 1950s. So even though a lot of it's modern change, there is some old stuff mixed in as well. So as soon as I'm able to visit back home, I'm gonna go through that bin of coins and make a video on it. So I'm gonna be excited to do that. Uh, so yeah, let's get this puppy on the scale and see how much it weighs. Okay, so the scale won't register it by itself because there's like a, a weight limit that has to cross before it registers. So we're going to go ahead and weigh myself. 137.5 and I'm going to go ahead and pick it up and see what it increases to. 141.3. So yeah, that thing is heavy. It is no joke. So thanks guys for watching, and I'm not sure when I'll get to go through that bin of coins, but when I do, I will definitely post it. Take care.